guys, Sid from Sid's Trains here, and today we're going to be taking a look at what's on the inside of this right-of-way industries box. Let's take a look. So as you can see, the item that was on the inside of the right-of-way box was this brass Chesapeake and Ohio steel-sided caboose. So starting out on the side, you can see it has great rivet detailing. If I turn it this way a little more, you might be able to see it better. There you go. It also has a, a, a really good-looking trucks. Uh, they are not sprung, but there is some really nice detailing on the side. We have... A great paint job overall with great lettering. Uh, nothing uh, looks blotched or, or blotchy or nothing. Uh, there's no scratches anywhere and everything is just printed really well. All the uh, grab irons are painted in this nice yellow color. So you can really see all the details. Uh, we have these window shades here. And then at the back we have um, the marker lights. And these are, uh, these are illuminated when you turn the power on as they have little bulbs inside of them. And the interior is also illuminated. It does not have a uh, detailed interior, it just has a light bulb, so that's why the windows are fogged. It also uh, has these really nice steps on the end, and if I turn it this way a little, you can see there's a, like a simulated wood grain on the uh, walkways over here. That's really cool. So taking a look at one of the ends of the car, uh, you can see the die cast knuckle coupler down here and it is operating and it has a, uh, a, a tab on the bottom. There we go. Uh, all around here we have separately applied grab irons, a separately applied ladder here that goes up to the top. We have a separately applied brake wheel and some other small separately applied details. Uh, there is a door on the inside here uh, but that does not open and uh, once again there is that uh, simulated wood grain, and something else I noticed is if I can turn the car here, it might be hard to see. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see on camera, but there is also a safety tread on the steps. Taking a look at the other end, this end is pretty much the same, except it has these marker lights, and the marker lights have uh, inserts in them. There's green on the sides, green on the front, and then red on the back. So I've turned the car on its side so you can get a better look at the top. We have a safety tread on all the walkways. We have grab, a grab iron running around the top of the cupola here. We have this uh, a stack here. It does not have a smoke unit in it, but it does have these nicely, uh, nice separately applied um, kind of supports on the side. And then at the top of the ladders, we also have the, uh, the ending of the grab irons. And there's tons of rivet detail all over. So taking a look at the bottom of this car, you can get a good look at the pickup rollers, the couplers, there's some nice separately applied air pumps and air tanks, and then uh, down underneath this truck there is the right of way industries plaque. So that about wraps up this video. I'm really enjoying this uh, brass caboose from right of way. It looks really good and since I'm a Chesapeake and Ohio guy, I really like it and it's going to fit well with my CNO engines and all of my coal cars I have from right of way industries that are B&O and CNO. So now to wrap up the video, I'm just going to be running it around for a little. Uh, so as always, like, subscribe, and click the bell for notifications. Comment below and tell others about the channel. I'm Sid, and I'll see you next time, guys.